today I will be painting this Cathedral miniature. This is a really nice sculpt, but I would like to improve it with some conversions today. So I will be using this wine cap as a shield at the side, and I will be using this chain. And I won't be needing this box anymore. So now I am just using this chain and I'm just going to cut off all the parts that aren't necessary so that is the clip I think you call it and then the jewel. I won't be using the whole chain for this build it doesn't use too much chain so which is quite nice I've got more chain for other projects in the future. So now I am just sanding this wine cap, this is that metal thing you found on the wine, and I just sanded it, and now I'm going to be filling it, filling the cavity in it so that it conforms to the miniature. I will be using two part epoxy for this. I am also just filling in some gaps that are on the miniature. Now I am just standing the cap a bit more so that it looks more weathered so that I can use it for a shield and it looks better. Now I am gluing the chain onto the shield making it hang and just making it look organic and like it's part of the miniature and I am also just sticking the cap onto the shoulder. Now I want to change the back side of the, the wings so that they aren't that rough texture and so I made it look more of a leathery substance um, and I made it look like it's been repaired. Maybe it got damaged in the past, he couldn't use the wings properly and it was repaired with some leather. So, now I am just cutting out some notches and grooves at the edges to make it look a bit more tattered. I didn't like how the sculpt did it, so I am just mending it myself, I guess. And yeah, enjoy while I do a bit of that. And also, I will be now sticking on the, the tattered leather, I guess you could call it. So I have stuck the one wing on like all of the leathery parts but I don't feel like doing all of that again. So let me just give it a quick snap and it should be all done. There we go. So I am just going to be adding a bit more components to the shield so I am now adding a cog. I thought maybe it could be a bit more steampunky, I guess you could call it once again. I don't know what you would call the style, but I think it looks good steampunky and just, yeah, because of the repaired wings out of like a steampunky material and the, the cog, so yeah, <laughs> I rambled on a bit there, but it's <laughs> okay, enjoy. While I fit this on. <laughs> S 
So for priming, I will just be masking all of the water effects off. So now I will just be priming it. So I will now be taking off all the press stick and masking tape I used to mark it. If you are wondering, yes this is a Nuzlocke Marvelous Miniatures model and that means it is pre-primed but I prefer to re-prime it as it. I added more things onto it and also I didn't entirely like the way the water was placed so I tweaked a little bit where the clear parts are. So now it's on to painting. For this scheme I did not really know where I was going I just knew I wanted to do a turquoise. So that is where I started off just doing a turquoise over all of the recesses and parts I want to do color draw attention to more and then I went over with it with just a light wash So for the wings, same thing, I didn't really know where I was going, I just knew I wanted to turquoise, so I started off with that. So at this point I decided I wanted to add some contrast, and so I thought just, why not do some red? Red would pop on the turquoise, so that is where I'm going, and yeah. Well the first thing I started off with was were, were the wings. I didn't know how much I wanted it red, so I basically did the whole thing. Later you will see I go back on this decision and make more of turquoise. Here I will be adding the red to the main part of the miniature and I am just doing a transition. You will see that on the wings and on the main miniature. The turquoise on the main miniature, I am going to leave a bit lighter. Here is just a dry brushing with white just to make everything a bit more bright. So now I am just working on the miniature using the same principles and I am also going to be colouring the leather yellow. Enjoy a bit well light paint without me speaking of course.
I am now moving on to the eyes of the miniature, which I will be giving a green glow. I am just putting a bit of a wash on the shield to make it look a bit more grimy. I do not put this on any other part of the miniature. I am now working on the water. Just making it a blue tint, just very watered down blue paint and that will gloss over the paint and then later I will be giving it a white dry brush. I also lighten up a bit of the colours with the turquoise. Now I will just be assembling the wings to the main part of the miniature. So this part influenced the miniature quite a lot and I'm just um, mixing some silicone with white paint to add some extra foam that looks clean to the miniature and I think it looks so good. If you are doing water effects I could suggest this, it, yeah I love the effect. Well now let's go on to the reveal of the king of the seas, Cthulhu.
So, I hope you enjoyed this video, I really enjoyed making it as always, I uh, just love this hobby, and I really would like your guys' honest opinion on this new style I've used for the editing, because in previous videos I have just done the time lapse mostly, or usually mostly fast, so I've mixed it up a little bit. The videos are longer now, yes, I know that, but that's just a consequence of this new style. But I hope you guys enjoy the new style nonetheless. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Uh, I worked really hard on it, especially the editing part. I like readjust my workflow. But I think it was worth it. I really like how this video turned out. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you later, bye.